So things have taken a turn. I didn't think Scott would have the guts to do it yet, but if you look at the overall empire, he's moved as a great general. He's thinking he's going to attack me here. I don't know how much of a military he has. So if I look at the demographics, uh, you can see that soldiers-wise, he has a significant gain on me, moderate advantage, but I don't know how many actual units he has. So I have to thread this needle very carefully or I could be in danger. Now I'd like to get rid of these guys first, but I'd also like to move these troops over to be ready to defend against him. So can I take these guys out in one round? Cause that'll be some nice extra experience for the battle to come. All right, so the, these guys can take them out next round. So I'm actually gonna move this swordsman back over this way. Oh uh, yeah. Now, it doesn't look like he has any assault coming from this side. Oh, yeah, he does. He's got a couple guys hanging out there. Now, see, we're not actually at war yet. But I could attack this guy for a little bit of damage. That's a special crossbowman unit. This is a war chariot. The war chariot's basically worthless. So let's retreat back. Uh, luckily, uh, to prepare for this, I'm basically, I've got a bunch of military units hanging out here. This guy, even though he's almost done with the plantation, I think I'm actually going to have him retreat back. My great general can also start moving back. I don't know if Scott realizes I have two. The horseman might want to run up and be ready to go around. I'm not sure what I want to do with the horseman yet. So I want to keep the horseman kind of out of range, a little bit to the back, ready for anything. Let me move the horseman around this way. Oh no! Yeah, I don't want to move him there, probably because then he could start the assault immediately. I don't know if he'll start the assault right away, though. So I've got this nice rough terrain here, so what I actually want to do in the short term is I want to pelt these guys as much as possible as they're coming in, and I think I want to build a bunch of military units in a hurry. So I can build spearmen pretty quick. They're not great. I'd rather have pikemen, but spearmen will do pretty well, even against knights. But I like to build several units quickly just for attrition. So I'll probably just start building a Spearman so I can have a unit out relatively quickly here. And he can't get over the hills and over here that quickly. But I do, I'm going to move this guy back. Because look, then from here, he can basically shoot over and hit guys who are adjacent pretty easily and defend this whole corridor. This other guy can stay in the city for the time being. Eh, I actually don't want him to stay in the city. I'll move him out. Oop, up, oh, wrong guy. Doesn't matter, it'll work out the same way. I want to leave the city open because I've almost got enough money. I could just buy another Spearman now. Or I could wait a little bit longer, two turns, and then get a composite bowman. An extra range unit might actually be good in this case. He's got this small force coming this way. I think he's going to try to converge around again on Memphis. So these guys are actually going to be useful because I can come in this way for extra defense. I might actually want to move these guys up now, but I'm not 100% sure what he's going to do with this unit. I suspect he's going to try to come up this way. So in that case, I might want to come across and flank, but I know he's got that knight there too. Uh, I'll pretty much just have to play a boring defensive game here with a bunch of units clustered in around the city, pelting everything until he loses. He doesn't have any siege units. These things won't take the city on their own, so I can pretty much just weaken him until it's over. I am behind on science. I was driving toward this stuff or this stuff. I think I would get the most bang for my buck right now. I don't really need extra culture quickly, though actually building the Parthenon would be very useful. And I can start getting some great men. Uh, these would be too late actually to affect the war effort. So I'm actually going to do this first, assuming that I can win the war with my existing traditional sort of unit set. And then, rather than moving on here, I'll actually jump back this way and probably do physics or machinery next. And we'll see how this goes.